As a series that focuses on grand adventure, One Piece has so many fascinating places to see. From the baffling Sky Island to the perplexing Mermaid Island, and from the dangerous punk hazard to the mesmerizing Sabori Archipelago, it doesn't take a long time for you to find a place that could awaken your sense of curiosity. One of those places is actually a building made by the world government. As a matter of fact, this particular building is actually part of the world government's three major strongholds, along with Eni's lobby and marine headquarters. This place is called the Impel Down Prison, and it is way more fascinating than you might think. The Outer Structure From the outside, and Pelt Down looks like an imposing castle that stands proudly in the middle of the ocean. At a glance, the design of this building looks quite similar to a medieval European castle, with its thick walls, humongous doors, and long corridors. But upon closer looks, it is actually much more complex than just a simple castle floating on the ocean. As a matter of fact, the structure of Impelled Down Prison actually extends all the way to the ocean floor. What we've seen on the surface is actually just the entrance of the building. There are six more levels below the water. Each act is prison for some of the most dangerous criminals in the world. Level 1 is closer to the surface, while level 6 lies at the bottom of the ocean. Impelled Down is specifically built to hold devil free users. That means it has all kinds of features to prevent the prisoners from escaping. For starters, the walls of this prison are made out of sea stone, which is the weakness of every devil free user. Furthermore, since Impelled Down is built on the calm belt, that means sea monsters can freely swim around the prison and devour any prisoners that try to escape. As if that's not enough, there are also numerous fully armed marine ships patrolling the area, so it's nearly impossible to escape the infamous Impelled Down prison. The Inner Layers As mentioned above, the inner layers of Impelled Down are divided into six different levels. Each level is meant to house certain kinds of criminals based on their bounty rewards or danger level. The deeper you go, the higher the bounty and the danger will be. Each level has its own unique kind of torture. So here's a brief rundown of every level inside the Impelled Down prison. Level 1, Crimson Hell. Upon entering the first level, you'll notice a landscape filled with red trees and grass. Those trees have leaves that are as sharp as blades, while those grass are as sharp as knives. The prisoners will be forced to run across the floor while being chased by dangerous creatures, all the while getting shredded to bits. Their blood painted the trees and the grass red. Level 2, Wild Beast Hell. Those who are shoved into the second level will be forced to navigate a complex labyrinth while being ceaselessly chased by hungry giant beasts. There's Sphinx, Manticores, Basilisk, Minotaur, and many other kinds of ferocious beasts, most of which have human-like faces and can voice simple words, which makes them so much eerier. Level 3, Starvation Hell. Unlike the other levels, this one is especially dependent on the other level, specifically the fourth level. The extreme heat produced in level 4 is carried through to level 3, which makes the entire floor look and feel like the ultimate dessert. The heat, the dry air, and the fact that the guards barely provide any food makes it such a devastating hell. Level 4, Blazing Hell. This particular level is the most representative of the word hell, because as the name suggests, there is a literal blazing hellfire here. At the center of the heat is a ginormous pool of boiling blood, which dissipates extremely hot streams of air that can easily scald the human skin. Even the floor and the walls here can burn you. Level 5, Freezing Hell. Contrary to raging fire in level 4, level 5 is all about freezing its tenants to death. This floor is so cold that it's normal for the prisoners to get frostbite upon setting foot in this level. If that's not enough, there are packs of hungry, malicious monster wolves. The wolves will stalk and hunt the prisoners, and slowly hurt them before eventually devouring them. Level 5.5, New Kama Land. This is actually a secret level between level 5 and level 6 that not even the guards and the warden knows about. Long time ago, a prisoner with a digging ability created this safe haven. Furthermore, they also construct secret passageways to every level that comes before it. It used to be under the control of Emporio Ivankov, but now Mr. Two becomes the supervisor of this special place, a paradise within hell. Level 6, Eternal Hell. 
not many people know about level 6. Some even consider its existence as a mere myth, but this is actually a place designed to contain the most dangerous criminals and devil fruit users in the world. Sengoku even said that every single level 6 prisoner has the ability to single-handedly destroy a nation. Interestingly enough, unlike the previous levels, there's no particular torture mechanism here. After all, every single one of them is so powerful that none of the methods mentioned above can affect them. So they simply chained and caged, waiting for their death sentence. There is so much more to the impelled down prison that we can talk about. But for now, those are the key components that make this place so fascinating and terrifying at the same time. So much interesting storytelling can be done in just one single place. And in other news, One Piece. 7 Most Creative Devil Fruit Users Devil fruits provide their users with special powers that enable them to take on strong opponents. Most devil fruit users just settle for the power that they receive and never try to push the limits. But there are certain One Piece characters who train with their devil fruits. They learn about the strengths and weaknesses of their devil fruits. This gives them a better understanding and allows them to unlock powers that they normally wouldn't have access to. These One Piece characters show their creative Creativity by using their devil fruits in the most ingenious ways possible. Monkey D. Luffy Monkey D. Luffy is the main protagonist of the series. He possesses the Hito Hito no Mi model, Nika. Initially, Luffy couldn't do anything special with his devil fruit, but he continued to train and improve. Luffy created different gears that enabled him to beat opponents who were extremely strong. Luffy's gear fifth is the pinnacle of his power, and in this form, he can extend the properties of rubber to other objects. Objects. In the fight with Kaido, the supernova performed some of the most outlandish moves, which even perplexed the Yonko. Charlotte Katakuri Charlotte Katakuri is a sweet commander of the Big Mom Pirates. He was one of the main antagonists of the whole Cake Island arc, where he clashed with Luffy in the Mirror World. Katakuri possesses the Machi Machi no Mi, a special Paramecia-type devil fruit. It allows Katakuri to turn his body into Machi, and he could let attacks phase past him like a Logia type user. Katakuri used the Machi to create massive fists, turn himself into a giant wheel, and imitate the techniques of other characters. Katakuri's creativity confused Luffy a lot, and the latter nearly ran out of options to defeat his opponent, Doflamingo. Doflamingo is a former Shichibukai who is currently imprisoned inside Impel Down. He is a ruthless, malevolent individual who solely cares about achieving his goals. Doflamingo was exposed to the rough side of the world at a young age and it resulted in him becoming a dangerous individual. Doflamingo's Ido Ido no Mi is a paramecia-type devil fruit that gives him the power to create strings. Normally, strings would not be classified as anything dangerous, but Doflamingo worked on his power and turned it into a fearsome weapon. He was able to use these strings to travel through the air, create a birdcage that was impossible to cut, and create a clone of himself. Enel Enel was the tyrannical ruler of Skypea. He came to the island after destroying his homeland. Enel was a devil fruit user, and on top of that, he was an exceptional Kenbunchiku hockey user. With the help of his powers, it didn't take long for Enel to take over Skypea. The residents of Skypea did not approve of Enel's methods, and many of them tried to oust him. However, the megalomaniac proved to be just too powerful. He combined his devil fruit with his Kenbunchiku hockey to keep an eye on the activities of every single person on the island. He also planned to use his devil fruit power to power the Ark Maxim and travel to the Fairy Verd. Enel was also able to resuscitate himself after nearly dying in a fight. Given that he could do so many things with his devil fruit, it is obvious that he is extremely creative. Trafalgar Law Trafalgar Law is the captain of the Heart Pirates and one of the most powerful characters in the story. Law's Oak Oak no Mi is quite possibly the most overpowered devil fruit in the entire series. Not only does it allow him to perform the most complex medical procedures, but it also enables him to fight strong opponents. While Law could easily just spam room multiple times, he decided to improve his abilities. Law can use his devil fruit in various ways. He can use his devil fruit to switch the hearts of different people 
damage someone without cutting them, create a room where the voice doesn't go out, etc. Law has also awakened his devil fruit, which increases his power and grants him additional abilities. Bartholomew Kuma Bartholomew Kuma is a former revolutionary turned pirate. He was a member of the Shichibukai, and he was considered to be among its strongest members. At some point in his life, Kuma ate the Nikyu Nikyu no Mi. This caused Kuma's palms to develop paw-like structures. Kuma used these paws to deflect or absorb the impact of the attacks of his enemies. He could also use the devil fruit to send people flying from one place to another. Kuma is also able to extract physical damage from someone's body. All these techniques prove that Kuma was extremely creative at using his devil fruit. Kaku Kaku is a member of CP0, and he was introduced in the Water 7 arc as a Galila shipwright. It wasn't until later that he was revealed to be a member of CP9. During his first confrontation with the Straw Hats, Kaku had not eaten a devil fruit. He received his devil fruit in Eni's lobby. Kaku's Ushi Ushi no Mi model. Giraffe enabled him to turn into a giraffe, which greatly affected his fighting style. However, Kaku managed to come up with different kinds of attacks that would incorporate his devil fruit ability. He came up with all the different kinds of attacks in a very short time, which reflects his ingenuity. That's a wrap for this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more amazing videos very soon.